Hello and welcome. In this session, we will see how to recover Postgre RDS admin username and password. I'm on the RDS uh, console. I'm already logged in AWS RDS console and uh, I have uh, in front of me the dashboard. And if I just click the DB instance, I should be able to see uh, the DB instances which are running. So as of now, I can see there is one uh, uh, one data DB identifier which is available is database one. I wanted to connect with this uh, Postgre uh, which is running in RDS. So what are the informations which are required to uh, get connected with the database? So I, I need the endpoint and the ports. I need the master username and uh, if I don't have the password I need to reset the password. The first thing which is required is endpoint and port. So let's go to RDS control, console. I have already clicked the database one, which is the only uh, database available in, in RDS, which is having the Postgre. So you can see the details over here. The engine is Postgre. In the connectivity and security, you will be able to see the endpoint. So this is the endpoint, which I need to just copy. And since uh, RDS, uh, we cannot directly control to the operating system and we cannot connect to that. So what we need to do is so we need to uh, use the information endpoint and port and we have to connect with some tool which can talk on these parameters. So we have PG admin wherein if you just say create server, you will be able to establish the connection. So this is the, uh, this is the name of the host through which we are trying to connect. So host name I have mentioned over here. The port name if you see on the RDS, uh, it is 5432. So we will go here and by default it is 5432. The next two information which is required is the maintenance database. So we have the Postgre maintenance database uh, by default over here. And we will see there is a, a username which is mentioned over here. So what we need to find out from the RDS, like what is the username? The endpoint and the port, we have already seen it from the connectivity and security. You have to go to the configuration and over the configuration, you will be able to see in the availability region, you will be able to see master username. Your master username is Postgre. So it's by default is coming Postgre over here as well. If there is some other user, so you have to put in that particular user over here. The next thing which we have to do is we have to enter the password. So how to enter the password if, if I don't do not know. So normally this happens when the service is transitioned from uh, one customer to another. So what we will do is uh, instead of uh, working on the existing password, if it is nowhere used, let's, let's go ahead and modify uh, the RDS uh, admin uh, user's password. So we'll go and perform the modify action. And here you will, you will be able to see what all actions can be done to modify the instance details. So this is specific to this particular RDS instance, which is having the uh, the RDS version 13.3 uh, for PostgreSQL. And uh, you will see it has prompted for new master password. So let's, let's put in some alphanumeric password, something uh, complex one, uh, put in from here and I'll enter over here. I'll put the same details over here as well. And uh, rest of the things will remain same because we just wanted to change the, or we wanted to reset the password for uh, for the uh, the admin user. The admin user name was uh, uh, Postgre. If it is something else, then you have to use that particular uh, user ID when you are trying to connect and then you have to put it into the, and, and I'll just say modify DB instance. This might take some time to, to get uh, uh, refreshed and we will see. Let's see the configuration. Okay, connectivity and successfully um, modified uh, uh, database one. I hope we should be able to to log in. Let's see the events, logs and the events.
these are the different events which has happened and let's see what has happened in the okay we'll try to connect it is still showing a resetting master credential so we will wait at least for 45 seconds uh, anytime you do some uh, changes to the RDS you make sure that you see the status it should be available if it is not available you will not be able to connect though we have changed the password we have uh, given this as the password but we will not be able to connect using the PG admin tool if let me put the password over here I already clicked the save if it is if it is it is still showing uh, resetting mas master uh, credential once it is available okay it is available so we should be able to log in now it should allow to log in us now if the password is correct if you have the uh, the ports open for from your local system to RDS then it will allow okay let us see uh, what other issues may be when you are trying to connect we just have to go ahead and check the security group the security group should allow the connectivity from your from your local system so what i have done is i'm trying to connect to the postgre using my local system and on my local system i have the pg admin tool installed so what i will do i'll go to the inbound rules and uh, i'll i'll add it the inbound uh, rules and i'll add my ip address of the system so i'll just say postgre sql and uh, it has already taken port number 5432 and I'll add uh, my IP and I'll just say save to. Now let's try to, to log in. Now you are able to log in. So to connect RDS remotely from any system, in my case it was my my local system I what I did is I had a tool PG admin tool which is a GUI tool to connect with the Postgre so it requires uh, your uh, your host name uh, which is your uh, uh, I'll show you over here it is it needs the endpoint so we picked up the endpoint information from the RDS we picked up the port from there we picked up the master username and uh, we have resetted the password so just just see it once again so the first thing which you need to do is just go to the RDS locate the RDS instance wherein you want to get the information so I just click the DB identifier I just have one uh, DB identifier which is database one uh, the first thing which you have to pick up is the endpoint so this is my endpoint which is required to connect and this is the port number then you have to go to the configuration under the configuration you have uh, availability under availability you have master username and master username is the this one wherein you are going to connect and after that you have if you do not know the uh, admin user uh, master user password then you have to go here and just say modify under the modify you have to give your uh, new password and then you have to uh, just say uh, save once you saved it uh, you once you save it uh, then the status will change from whatever action you have done let's say you are resetting the master user password so it will show you master user password resetting unless it comes to the available state it will not allow you to log in and when I try to connect from remote uh, system in, in my case it is my local system I need to make sure the security group of RDS should allow incoming connection from this uh, so that's that's the way you control the incoming connection from a remote host and if you have any other uh, information required uh, you can reach out so here are the details on the screen I hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.